Hello, welcome to the walkthrough video on how to install the Moodle application on an Android device. So first of all, you look at your Play Store, which is, okay, my is here. So after clicking on it, um, I come to this page and I search for Moodle, Moodle, M-O-O-D-L-E, so I search, yeah, so this is the module that we'll be downloading for further learning on our space, so I click on install, so you'll sit back, relax, and wait for it to install. All right, so our module application has successfully been installed. So you click on open to access the application on your mobile device. So it's loading. All right, so you have two options here. I'm a learner, I'm an educator. All right, so we go for the learner and then remember the eLearn sites, which is um, HTTPS, HTTPS full column, forward slash forward slash elearn.noedu2.net so that's it here it is and then we click on it remember we always talk about your username being your metric number and your password being your metric number until you change it so for your first login your username is your metric number and your password is your metric number all right so you can always check to verify to see if that's correct so i log in all right so we are on the dashboard so as you can see i have three courses here i have um company law i have electronics 3 phy 405 and i have a template course one here so i have just three courses here on this site so if i click on one for example the company law so these are the contents of the company law. We have announcements, meet your facilitator, facilitation lesson plans, timetable, chat sessions, and the likes. And then we also have our live class for company law. I can click on participants and then get to know who and who is in this class or who and who are active in this class. For now, we're just two in this class until others, are, until others get added. Also, I can check for grades in case a short squeeze was given or had been given in the course. I can check my grades in this place. So let's go back to our dashboard. So back to the dashboard, we have electronics 3 PHY 405. So yeah, this is a wonderful one. I have a, a welcome, an introductory video here. I have the announcement, meet your facilitator, virtual library. This is a a complete course so we have the facilitation sessions here also just as you have them on the website so you can have them on the mobile sites okay so if you want to watch this you click on it to play it so that's that for the second course let me see the third course what i have there all right wonderful so in my third course i have the usuals Aha, wonderful. So I have my tutor marked assignment here. Here we go. Now let me see if I can attempt this. If the quiz were to be active, of which TMA will not be available until Friday, 4th March 2022 by 12, 12 a.m. All right, so had they been this TMA were active, I would have been able to attempt it from my mobile device. I have the calendar. We have the, the message, for example, if you have a message from your lecturers, you could find them here. And then here also we have notifications. If there's a notification about a class coming up soon, it pops up here. And also it should pop up on your, your notification bar here. It should pop up here. Also, let's see what this is. All right. So this is just pretty much some more details about the website. You can change sites, you can change preferences, you can click on this and to take you to the website itself. And also we have the site blog, 
so then uh, that's pretty much it site subscription of which you don't need to subscribe it's free of charge for you to access and make use of uh, we have the websites we have help preferences change sites application settings you could tweak the settings to how you want it to be and what you want it to feel and look like all right so back to my dashboard home yeah click on home so that's that for all about your module application on your android device thank you for watching bye